I was really interested to know which would be the best microphone, whether it was this one, this one, or this one, when I wanted to use speech to text, speech to text, so that I could dictate. Let me tell you what was happening. I ran a three hour webinar called, with my son David, uh, called Your Book and Beyond. And in that three hours, we were showing people exactly how to write, how to create, and how to market their own informational products by taking their knowledge, their experience, and their expertise, and their magic ingredient, by the way, which is their take on it, and to start off with a book, your book and beyond, and then how to take that book, take the information, convert it into different informational products, and how to use that book as the best lead magnet that you ever could possibly have. And in the course of that, in doing that three hours, and we did it twice, did it on a Saturday morning once, I was so inspired by it that I decided, despite all of these different products that I've already made, these are all my products and books and audio and videos here, that I was going to write a new book, and I'm in the process of doing it. In fact, I've already done 18,000 words. And what I use is, I use the Pomodoro technique. I don't know if you know this is a 25-minute timer. It's like a kitchen timer. But the Pomodoro technique is that you use a 25-minute window for working in, and then you take a five-minute break then another 25 minute window, five minute break, then a third one, and then a 15 minute break. When I find that if I focus and I commit to do 25 minutes, just 25 minutes every day, that in that time I can create a lot of content. However, what I decided to do was, despite the fact I can type it pretty quickly, I wanted to dictate the content. I wanted to use speech to text. And I started off by using the microphone that I'm speaking to you on now, which is actually just above me here. I, in fact, if I give you a back view, let me just go onto my uh, stream deck a second and I'll give you a back view. Uh, so you can see that there, if I point to the microphone, this is the microphone that I'm speaking on at the moment. If I just come back to me there. Right. So that's the microphone I'm speaking on, which is the Elgato Wave 3. And I think it's great for when I'm doing my videos. When I was doing the dictation, I thought, you know, this isn't quite accurate enough for me. I was, I was a bit concerned about it. So I thought, well, I know what I'll do is I will get this one, which is the one I used to use, which is the Snowball uh, mic, uh, Blue Snowball. I took, it was a great mic. It wasn't quite as loud as the Elgato. Um, and it got had sort of a down voice to it in the sense of it, it seemed to sort of flatten everything. Still a great mic, but nevertheless. So I thought what I would do is I will do, put that out of the way for a minute. I would do some dictation using that, and I checked the accuracy. And then I found another thought, I went, hmm, hang on a minute. On my MacBook Pro, which is what I'm speaking to you on now, if I go back to uh, me there somewhere, I back view, right? You can see that. If I, if I zoom in a bit there, let me have a look here. So there, there it is. I'm on my MacBook Pro, as you can see there, and I've got a blank page on purpose there. Then what, what I'm doing with that is, I thought to myself, could I use the inbuilt microphone that's on my MacBook and see how good that is? So I did, and I was amazed how much better it was. Now, I've got three examples of it here. I'm gonna launch all three. Let me open all three of these things. If they'll open for me, they will, yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna show you on the other screen, if I can get them all open, I can. I'm going to show you the different levels of accuracy. So if I come to this back view now, if I come back to zoomed in, uh, I think you might be able to see that. If I move these down into shot here, you can probably see here, if I point to it, this is the Elgato Wave, and it was 96% accurate. I think you might be able to see that. Let me just close that one. This is the snowball, the blue snowball, and that was 95.5% accurate. But then I'll close that one. But then when I did the MacBook Pro, let me launch this one. Thank you. Um, when I did the MacBook Pro, if I bring this here, you can see, I hope you can see, you know, I'll read it anyway. This is 98% accurate. Now, you think there's not much of a difference between 98% and say 96%. But that 2% makes a major difference. Let me tell you why. Because let's say you're going to write a book with 20,000 words on it, and you're going to use the Pomodoro technique to do it, 25 words a minute or 
So 25 words of working, and you do that every day or most of the days anyway. If you've got 2% extra corrections to do in 100 words, and you've got 20,000 words, that's 400 extra connections. So it makes such a difference. And I found that the MacBook Pro is absolutely brilliant for this. So if I come on my in the zoomed in section, I think I am. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this off my desktop so you can see. And I think you can see that you can now see my Mac here. And I've put the, the size of the print up quite a bit so you can be able to see what I'm doing. And I'm actually going to do just a quick bit of dictation and I'll give you an idea. So wake up. So on the three-hour webinar, Your Book and Beyond, I asked people if they'd like to join a small group of people working together over a six-month period who would be really focused with me helping them and then helping each other as a group to create a book for their business. We'd go through all of the taking the ideas out of your mind and putting them into paper, or if that was the case. Is this actually doing this? It is. Look, it's done all that. Is this actually doing it? Full stop. Go to sleep. So let me just read that what it said. It said, so only, so instead of that was only, instead of on the three-hour webinar, your book and beyond, I asked people if they'd like to join a small group of people working together over a six-month period would be really focused with me helping them and them helping each other as a group to create a book for their business. We go through all the taking the ideas out of your mind, putting on back, and it's still going on now. Go to sleep. on a different screen. Excellent. So you can get the idea of this. I mean, if I can just come back to me for a moment, you've got the idea of this and how this works. So some takeaways, four takeaways. Number four is you can use your Elgato. You can use the normal mic that you use for doing your videos, your webinars, etc. Or you could use the Blue Snowball, or you could use your built-in MacBook Pro. And here's a little thought for you. Um, you could take a phone, you go, I've got a, a phone here that I'm, I'm uh, filming the back view on, and it just, uh, this is an old phone. You could take your phone and using voice memo, you could record what you wanted to say in your book, for example. And then you could play the voice memo to your Mac or to your PC, whatever it is to use, so that you're not limited to doing it on your desk. You can do it out and about when you've got an idea and you can do the dictation then. Or you could do it directly into the Mac or your PC. And I found with the Mac, this is absolutely brilliant. And now the other bit is this, is that if you fancy, and if you haven't done one yet, I would suggest you do. If you fancy writing a book for your business, so that not only can you use that for giving to people to establish your credibility in your own marketplace, not only can you use it for adverts, giving away, etc. You can also use it as a lead generator. And once you've created that manuscript, then you've got the resources to create the most amazing, vast variety of informational products. The day I wrote a book, and when I wrote a book, the first one I think was 1993, um, my life changed. It absolutely changed. So if you're thinking that way, why don't you think about coming and joining this uh, small group that I've got put together? Let me show you a second. If I push that, well, I've got the right thing going on here. So I, there we are. Look, there's a QR code and there is a link as well. So if I get myself in screen. So if you want to either take a photo of that QR code, and I'm pointing to where it is on the screen at the moment, or you want to take a note of that survey link, all you need to do is to go to that survey. There's only one question, and you can either tell me how I can help you in either the creating side of it and putting it into different products and then using it to make money and gain leads if you want help in that. Or there's a little um, link there, or there's a tick box there, where you can tick to say, yes, I would like to join the group. However, that means me and the having a conversation. So if you go and take that survey, then one of my colleagues will call you and we'll set up a Zoom call together. There's no charge for that. There's no obligation. And you can tell me exactly what you're trying to achieve. And then we can discuss whether or not the group way is the best way for you or doing more online research or working on your own. What is the right thing? So I'd urge you to go and have a look at that survey. So there's only one question and then we can have a conversation. In the meantime, let me come back to me. 
Uh, I'll go back to that one there. And I might even, I think I should have a bit of strap line coming in as well. Will that make it work? Yes, it will. I'm having some fun doing this, aren't I? Especially as I was setting up these different back views and the zoomed in back view for me today. You can imagine I've had a lot of fun. So there's lots of these videos about. Uh, by always have a look around and see if you like some of them. I'm not usually this chaotic, but you've got the idea of it. And I continue to wish you success in all your adventures in life. Let's have a conversation and who knows where it might go. From me, Peter Thompson, until the next time. Goodbye for now.